This game has a 99% positive rating, and it's not because there's a bunch of Steam Engine enthusiasts running rampant within the gaming community. <laughs> no, this game is being well respected because everything we're about to see is being simulated. I had mentioned the developer of this game in a past video, and some of you may recall his name is Anj the Great, and he's helping out the Beam and G Drive development team with engine sound simulation, and well, he's created his own Steam Engine here, an entire simulator of how a Steam Engine works. If you'd like to play this game, ironically enough, you can download Steam Engine Simulator off of Steam, and it's 5.5 megabytes in size, very well optimized, and I recommend giving it a go. Because if anything, you can use this as a learning tool. As for example, over here we have something very similar to a two-stroke engine, and we also have an alternator hooked up to it, a flywheel, and even a brake that can simulate load. So how does a Steam Engine work? Well, if we pull the alternator, with the brake off, of course, we see the piston starts to move downwards, and at this point we have a clear opening here to the steam chamber. Similar to an ignition state of a two-stroke engine, we start to build up pressure on the inside of the cylinder. So naturally, that's going to push our piston downwards. And we can see through this linkage here, we now have this orifice starting to open up. So the air is going to start to escape now, or the steam will start to escape as this starts to become closed off, and we continue back through the cycle. A very simple mechanism, but something that has been used and transferred from steam engines to gas engines. So how do we operate the steam engine with without cheating, without using an electrical alternator, an electrical motor. Well, let's go ahead and light up this fire here, which will bring our water to a boiling temperature at about 100 degrees Celsius. Oh, we've got a drain valve open. Now we're building up pressure inside of this reservoir, and at this point we should be able to pull this valve, and our engine will start to run. Beautiful. Oh, that is such an amazing sound. All of these sounds are being generated within the game itself. It's not a sound file playing, which just adds to the, the wow factor of this game. Now my natural monkey brain wants this wheel to spin as fast as possible, which we're going to do here in a second, but we're going to go much faster than 700 rounds per minute or revolutions per minute. But first I want to show off this cool little whistle here because it's also simulated. As we build up pressure here, we're going to notice that we can use it to generate a weak sound. <laughs> And of course, as the air pressure builds up, this whistle itself is going to become higher in pitch. But now, for the demon steam engine. Wait, hold on. Hold on one sec. Hey, there we go! <laughs> this is so cool! My gosh. Anj, you are amazing. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> we have this gauge here. It's times 10, so we're going to try and get this to 3,500 revolutions per minute. And absolutely perfect, because everything here is already set up for us. Woo, that's high-pitched. Okay, uh, wheels locked. Let's get this into power stroke position. Oh, she is ready to launch. Let's go. Okay, here comes the valve. Woo! Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, are we going to make it? We're not going to make it to 3,000. Oh, we have to make it above 3,000 at least. Come on. That just sounds absolutely amazing, though. Imagine this being in Beam and G. That car racing simulator. Oh. Oh, you just... You have to love that sound. Okay, so we're going to try and get at least 3,500 here. And I will be back here in a second once we reach to max everything. Okay, so I've been waiting for about 10 minutes and this thing is an absolute disaster waiting to happen because the pressure gauge is completely maxed out at this point. This pressure is closer to about 1,200 PSI or 8.27 megapascals. So this wheel is going to fly. We don't have a brake on. Let's pull the pin. Valve is fully open. 3,000 rounds per minute. Oh, we reached 3,500. Let's go. And we're still creeping up. Can we accelerate any faster than this? It doesn't appear so. 3,700 is about what I can get this to. And if you can go any faster, let me know. But still, that is absolutely wild. And of course, this pulling down sound, you have to love it. to my ears. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
Well, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know and I'll be sure to do more little games like this in the future because I, I genuinely enjoy playing games like this. And uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video. And again, go ahead and download this off of Steam. It's free. It's called Steam Engine Simulator. It's by Anz the Great, the guy who's helping out BeamNG's development team with their engine sounds. And uh, this is a good little small representation of what could be to come. So I'm excited. So hopefully see you guys in the next video. And uh, until then, bye-bye.